Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I really like talking about music. This week I thought we'd have another little sit down catch up because I really enjoyed that last time. Um, so grab yourself a drink, whether that be tea, coffee, tequila, whatever is your poison. Um, I'm drinking a, a lem rose lemonade tea. I'm challenging myself this week. Um, I script everything that I do, literally word for word. So I thought to develop my social skills, even though this isn't, you know, very social. I'm talking to a camera right now, um, but I'm still nervous. So I've literally just given myself dot points with like two or three words and I've got five dot points and that's it. I'm just gonna have to make it up as I go along. So I'm sorry if this isn't very coherent. <laughs> so let's chat about what's been happening since we last caught up. Um, I've been to some gigs. Perth got a brand new venue. Um, I don't know if it's called Barb's or Barb Bay's. If someone can clarify that, please do. Um, but I went to see Adrian Zuke there and he was supported by Priscilla and Young Robin and oh, so good. There was so much energy that night. Um, I had a little too much to drink, but you know, it's me. I get drunk off of three. <laughs> Priscilla were great. Um, I've never actually seen like a full set of theirs. I just caught the last bit of their set at Whamfest last year. Um, but yeah, that was, oh, they're so amazing. And they did a cover of Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato, which is my like hype up song. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. Um, Young Robin, obviously, do I even have to fucking say it anymore? Um, they were great. Always are. And Adrian Zuke was so cool. Um, that guy just oozes. Um, I was gonna say swag then. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a word that I want to use in 2020. Ew. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just uber cool. Like, he's got that, um, you know, like Anderson Pack has that cool energy where you're like, Jesus, man. Yeah, had a good groove to that. That was really fun. And the space is amazing. I really, really love what they've done in there and the vibe it's got. It's so totally my thing. It's kind of like, sort of like the bird. Not really, but I don't know. For some reason it reminded me of like 1960s Cuba. What else? Um, I was I was interviewed for a little school project for someone. My friend Naomi, her cousin, is he year 11 or 12, I forgot now, but um, they they were doing a little a media um, assignment and she chose to do it on Perth Music and as a WAM representative I got interviewed and I feel so bad. I was so shit. I realise now that I cannot film with someone else in the room. Oh my god, I just, I couldn't speak. It, it, it took us like an hour to get five minutes of footage. So, if she's watching this, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it was cool though, it was really nice to be thought of um, for that kind of opportunity. So, yeah. I, I would like to do more of that once my confidence builds. Okay. This is going to be the highlight of this video. I'm, I'm guessing you saw the Paul Weller um, on Sunset review. Uh, he saw that too. Paul Weller saw that. Big thanks to my dad for sending that through to his sister. Um, they, <laughs> they shared it on Instagram. They shared it on their story. Um, Eddie Pillar also sent his encouragement. Um, and then to top it all off, like I thought that wasn't enough, like oh my god Paul Weller has acknowledged my existence. Um, last week I came home, dad was like you've got a package and I was like I didn't order anything. Um, and they sat me down and I opened it <laughs> and it was this. This is a signed copy of Saturn's Pattern from the man himself. Um, I had no idea this was coming, I didn't ask for this or anything. Um, my dad didn't even know what was coming, he just knew something was coming. It says, to honour, good luck in Oz, Paul Weller, say hi to the wizard. This is the most special thing I own now. Oh my god. Um, this means the absolute world and it's just like, I'm, keep, I'm saving this as like, or I'm regarding this as like confirmation that I'm doing the right thing. Um, I've had encouragement from the mod father. Um, I'm, I'm in the right lane. Ah, <laughs> I had a big cry that night when I went to bed. 
once it's sunk in that this is what I've received. <sighs> Another very cool thing I got to do was um, sell merch for Dulcie and Psychedelic Prawn Crumpets. If you were at the Badlands shows and you came to the merch table, you, you met me, hi. Um, yeah, the manager asked me to do it and I was stoked. It was so much fun. Um, I, I'm not gonna say I miss retail, but I kind of missed that rush. Um, and it's, I always, cause I'm very socially awkward. I think sometimes people assume that I might be a little drunk. So interacting with people who are drunk is fun for me because there's not that like, people aren't made uncomfortable by my awkwardness. So yeah, I had a ball. I was very tired um, I, cause the first show was on a Thursday. So I was there till like gone midnight and then um, had work the next morning, eight hours of work, <laughs> then at the show again. But I like, n no regrets at all. I would do it every night. And potentially more stuff like that in the future is gonna happen. So thanks Murray, if you're watching. Another cool thing I've been doing is um, at Wham. If you don't know, I work at Wham, West Australian Music. Um, I'm the admin officer. Um, I have been booking these little shows for uh, Crew and King, which is the bar at His Majesty's Theatre. Just like little sundowner sessions on Friday nights. Um, it's really cute. I went last week to see Young Robin um, and Faraday's Cage. Yes, I booked Young Robin for something. You can go to my Instagram. Um, I did like a little post about why that, that was quite special for me. But if you're interested um, at all in heading down, it's free entry. Um, it's just really nice, like a really cute little space. There's great drinks, uh, locally sourced food. And yeah, it's five to seven. I will leave a link to like all the shows. I think we've got like another seven or eight. Um, yeah, I turned 22, that happened. Had a bit of a shindig, which was nice. Um, I looked really cool that night. I, I hate my appearance most days. I hate it now. Ugh. But um, I think I looked really quite cool that night, so I'm sent a picture here. Um, yeah, it was just really nice to, like, I had friends from all different areas come in, like, lots of people that didn't know each other. Um, so it was, it was just really nice to, to be with everyone. Um, I got drunk. <laughs> Absolutely, I got drunk. Pika Bar reopened. Reopened on my birthday on the Tuesday. Um, and then we were there on the Saturday. So nice now. Not It, it was nice before, but just like the outdoors bit um, is fits so many more people and just a bit like more welcoming, um, especially at night. The women's toilet, can't speak for the men's, don't know, didn't go in there. But um, the women's toilet is like really fancy. I, it was like millennial pink and gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, I had a lot of $5 Prosecco there and then we moved to Joe's Juice Joint, naturally. Um, and I had a tequila fish bowl. Duh. So yeah, thank you to the people that came. Um, I know a few of you watch my videos, so thank you. Um, a really nice night. Feels weird being 22 because like 21 was the last milestone before 30 now, I guess. I don't, I don't think 25 is really a milestone. Now it's like, proper adult, like I, like I have to get my shit together now. And I know that there's gonna be people older than me that are saying, you're still so young. Um, but I don't know, it just feels like 18 was like, I'm an adult, but also, no I'm not, I'm a teenager. Um, and then 21 was like, I can drink in America. <laughs> um, but 22 is like, come on, get a savings plan together. <laughs> and that's about it, I think. Um, when I upload this, uh, it will be the Saturday, so yesterday, um, Moral Panic by Nothing But Thieves, their new album, will be out. So next week's video is going to be that. I'm so excited. Like, I love that band so much. There is not a single song that I don't, like, love with a passion. You know what I mean? Like, they're just they're perfect. Um, and the singles they've been releasing, oh, my... Ah! So good. So yeah, I'm excited to do like a full in-depth review of the album for you. Um, so get excited for that. I'm gonna go. Um, thanks for sitting down and having a chat. I enjoyed this again. I hope that this was all right without a script. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe for more music related content. 
and I will see you in my next video. Have a lovely weekend. Seriously.